Hello, Internet! This is Lord Mad Dog, <laughs> and coming at you with another dev blog about my game Axiom's Box. Last time we left off, I was building the level 9. As you can see, I've gone ahead and completed level 9. It's actually really difficult <laughs> to beat um, because the enemies just keep spawning. <laughs> As you as you run across, that's what the intention. So you see here, there just an enemy just spawned, and the object here is you're gonna just try to, this one section is repeated twice during this course here. And I've also made it so that you can now, for some reason, double jump didn't fire there. Must my own fault there. Must have got hit. Oh, <laughs> I go all the way back down to the bottom. Okay, so let's jump. I'm using my dev cheats here to jump back up. Okay, so as I was saying, I made it so you can now t see when the enemy, the little thing is going to spawn enemy. So as you watch here, the it's going to get brighter, and there, boof, it fires. So now the player can actually try to uh, actively avoid getting hit by the thing that spawns enemies. It's a little bit difficult, but it actually makes the level actually accomplishable, accomplishable, because I was having a problem with that before <laughs> being able to actually beat the level. So uh, there, that's actually pretty good timing because it's right there, both side, sides. Sides. Huh. Did it again? I wasn't able to double jump. I must not. I must have to look. We'll have to look that up and see what, what in the world is causing that problem. That shouldn't be a problem. I must have some type of delay I have set in there. But as you can see, and there. Huh. I wonder. wonder why it was causing that. Am I not being able to double jump there? All right. And then you run on over here. Turn on this thing. I hope I always do that. That's dumb. As I said, this is a hard, hard level. And as it just keeps spawning and spawning more and more enemies, and you have to fight them off. And as well as get on these things here. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not in the mood to try to, fix, to do this right now. I'm obviously doing really bad. But as you can see, it gets all the way over here. I made a little spot so you, uh, you, you can fight the enemies. Here, kind of right here. Because I was having a problem of them building up, and then you not really ended up being able to kill them all. It was a bit extreme. So on this level, this thing here, a lot of the enemies from that place I was just trying to do, they will spawn all the way over here. So it, it, it's it, it, you're, you're going to end up having to deal with those, but you also got another long jump right through here that you got to jump through to get to it like this. And they can be spawning enemies here too. All right, I died. Uh, as I said, it's a hard level, and I, <laughs> I may have to do some re repass over it to make it a little bit easier than it is, but I think it, it works more or less. So at the end of the level, we've got, once you get here, I need to kill this guy. Doop, doop. There we go. Oh, I missed this guy. Now, of course, I'm low, I'm low level, level two, so I don't have a lot of mana. By this time, you should be like level six at least, easy, which gives you 60 per, 60 more mana. And also, I made it so your damage, your attacks actually do damage uh, according to your level. So as you see, I got a one percent more, da uh, ten percent more damage. So instead of just doing ten, I'm doing twelve damage. That guy moved out of the attack, so he didn't get hit by the full damage. There we are, because it, it does have a little bit of an area. There we go. You can see, and if you get to level five, you get your uh, ten. You're basically doing double, double the damage that you were from the beginning. Oh, stupid thing! <laughs> As you can see, you, you can, they can build up pretty quick, and then you have to fight them and get them. But you can easily avoid them spawning if you're a little bit um, a little bit mindful of the thing underneath you. All right, then once you get all the way over here. Jump up here and activate this. Ouch, I just spawned another stupid one. And you can jump on this, and you have a choice of either trying to jump from here or here to onto this, or running, doing the wall run three times, which is a bit difficult. So I, I have to see if I can do it here. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it. I made it! Oh, then I got hit by him right as I made it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's jump back up there. Obviously, I still have this testing uh, ground underneath it. 
And then after you get here, you'll activate this, which has already been activated because I made it and then got knocked off by that guy. And then there's the those coins there you can go for if you want. And there is, yeah, there it is. Stupid thing, go away. <laughs> Die. As uh, enemies and as the player as well have a small uh, damage hit delay. So if you hit attack the enemies too fast, you will, your damage will be negated. I'm not sure. I may end up having to remove that from the from NPCs because I do find that a dad bit annoying. I have I had it according to all my health all the way across, but that it is that is uh, annoying. See if if you didn't have that hit delay, damage take delay, he'd be uh, that would you'd be taking 10 times as much damage there. And uh, yes, this thing has a, um, it's a slightly off kelter, so it's possible this to happen. And actually, I, I like that way. I wanted it that way. So you, you can w sit there and wait for it to line up just perfectly. Oh, that was really dumb. Bad, bad jump. Come on, die. Where the heck are you guys all coming from? I'm not spawning you. Must have just been from me fooling around earlier. Up there, I just spawned one. I know that one spawns close. Okay, so as I was saying, this thing here, you ride this out. Oops. Come here, you. And then you try to jump on. So this one's actually pretty easy. Should be pretty easy to jump. I say that and I miss it. Okay, once you get, jump there, you can come on out to, oh, oh what happened here? <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's gonna be a pem. But anyway, I'll have to fix that. I guess I scaled it, that's my bad. Boom. All right, as you can see, she runs up and then she gives you a new power. The strange gold substance absorbs into your body and you feel a connection with a powerful relic. You can now summon a magical whip. And it'll come here, uh, 15 seconds delay on that. It'll tell you exactly how to use it here. The whip enables you to swing from one platform to another. Look up at the target you want to swing from and press the th thumb mouse button to thumb. Oh my gosh, I forgot the B. Oh well, boom. Grappling hook. Indian. This took me a lot of work. It wasn't necessarily the blueprinting for this that took me a lot of work. It was the uh, animation. See, the original idea for the animation was for, um, okay, as I was saying, originally, uh, the original idea for the animation was to have it all physics-based. But the problem is, is that ended up looking like Bantha Poodoo. <laughs> I mean, it was just bad. Uh, yeah, they, it just, it, it just, Physic bakes animations are still just not there yet. Just, just not there yet. I, I mean, I, I've seen some people do some pretty good, cool stuff with physic bakes animations, but it's beyond me. And uh, the, the reason why this thing got small is because I accidentally scaled it, and it get, ended up being transformed into one of the smaller ones. I got to make make sure that I actually keep this the right scale. That was bad on my part. But see, yes, you can see it's got physics on it. Its little whip tail hair. It's got, you can see the magic whip. This will enable players to skip almost entire levels as they've run through. And it's got a decent range on it too. I gotta let swing back. And yes, the player can, can swing a little bit. Oh, I'm out of mana. <laughs> now I'm gonna drop all the way back down. <laughs> yes, it drains your mana slowly over time. So the more mana you have, the longer you can swing for too. It's a good thing uh, as you level up. And uh, yep, that's pretty much now I'll go ahead and show you it. Let's go ahead and check out the blueprint for it. This is the, this is the grappling hook blueprint uh, input uh, grappling hook uh, action. This is going to be your in edit project settings, your input. Yes, and your grappling hook will be in there. I'm not quite sure where it's at. Oh, grappling hook. Yes, thumb mouse button too. And then you can also, I'll go ahead and hit play. So, oops, you got my mouse on the other screen here. You can actually change it in game too. 
So I'll hit play. And all right, see, there it is. Oh, th th I'm also going to have to fix that as a small bug. If you hit it too fast, you, you can summon multiple of them, and then they won't get deleted, and they'll cause a little bit of bug. Uh, so I'm going to change that. I'm gonna make it to a delay so you can't you can't spawn multiple of them real quick. It's only gonna to have to be like an 0.2 second delay, but I'm gonna add that there. Let's go P for options. In this game, we go mouse and keyboard, and you can see it's grappling hook right right here at the very bottom. Thumb mouse button too, and then the player can change that to whatever they want it to. Because if they don't have a mouse button too, <laughs> it's just what I chose to do it because I like that I like that positioning. All right, let's go ahead and show that back in here. So, and then you have, is the grappling hook unlocked? Huh, sorry about that. Somehow I, was, oh, I got disconnected for a moment. Okay, so where was I at? Okay, yes, right here in, in the whip. Um, this is the, the, the whip blueprint that it spawns. In here, the con oh, event craft, the only thing in here in the event craft is to enable the physics on the chain. Uh, so it's not too big. This is, that's the only thing here. Um, of course I have some, um, particle spawn right here to make it look nice right here is a stream here's a flare uh physical animation which is part of making it what's it called and then this is the this is the the cable and the cable is what you can see when it connects to something and that is controlled back here later on so right here it's just this is the spawning this is the spawn location of the cable the starting point and then the end point is controlled in the blueprint in the player blueprint so we got uh right here this attaches the 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 whip to my hand snap to the target snap to target the mess and it's a socket name which is i made my own target my own socket of the skeleton so it's right-handed weapon slot yes that's r h w s <laughs> okay then it automatically will play this montage which is the one right here that you see this montage also has oops i have to unlock the skill there that montage right there Yes, it'll play that montage, which has the little whoop sound, whoosh, whoosh, and whoosh sound in it, and also has the particle where your hand is doing it. And as time, as, as uh, if time allows, eventually I'll make it so the whip actually has its own little summoning animation, so that uh, the whip will actually be summoned. Uh, it'll ha it'll kind of like materialize, materialization. <laughs> It's not a big detail because um, most people aren't going to notice it because it's such, such a fast animation. But I will, I'm going to put a materialization texture over top of it, which uh, I've been looking at. Uh, then go back to player. So it plays that. And then it instantly, at the, at the notify during the montage, it sends out a line trace. And line traces are standard stuff. This only one different with this one is it gets the forward vector, normalizes it, and then uh, puts 150 uh, frames, uh, 150 units ahead. So it doesn't actually hit the block behind the character if you're using a third person ca camera, which is actually what this is set at. Even if you're not using a third person camera, it can still happen when you're in first person. Um, so, cause it, it uses the third person. So I just shoot it 150 frames forward so it doesn't hit the ground behind you. Uh, so that's the only difference on this normal line trace. And then obviously I can set what this line trace is gonna hit. I have it to hit everything. I'm gonna go ahead and, go ahead and let you hit pawns. You can, you can latch on to uh, NPCs if you want to. It won't pull them to you because you, they're heavier than you are. <laughs> You'll pull yourself to them. Uh, but if they want to do that, then you can. So I'll have it basically out of everything. That's the, if the line trace hits something, it, it'll break results. It'll play the sound, the Sakura grip sound. That little whip sound. Okay. Then it will, here's my physics for the player. It basically, the only thing that's do, doing with the player is enabling a little bit of physics in the animation for the player's legs. As I said, physics animations are just not there yet. I wanted to have it a full animation uh, for the player when swinging, but it just, it didn't, the physics just was nasty looking and I couldn't, couldn't get it not to look nasty. So here, if I can get this invisible thing up here to connect there, you can see the legs jitter a little. They little they move as you you swing around. Yep, 
And the, the hardest time, thing of this whole thing was me making this animation right here. This took me, because I'm not an animator. And I had to, and, and so it's just barely passable. I, I, it's passable, I, I, I think it's okay, the animation for it. Uh, to do it right though, you would have to set it up, instead of using an anime montage, you would have to do it in your anime blueprint. And you would have to give it a full anime blueprint set up with left and right and everything to make it really good. So when the player was according to your velocity, where you were at, oh, I swung up and around, hey, onto the thing. Okay, that back to the blueprint. Okay, so there's your physics set, and this uh, uh, creates this as a variable. I name it grappling point uh, grappling point location. So it'll um, so I can use this variable later on. It'll automatically set gra is grappling is grappling it enables the tick because I have this hooked up to the the tick timer. Um, I could have used a normal timer, but it, there was no difference. And I kind of wanted to go ahead and actually just use the timer. So I have an event. This is an, a custom event hooked on my t uh, tick. All right. Uh, which that this this is what this enables all the actual movement, but I'll talk about that here in a sec. This then sets the visibility of the chain the the cable in the whip. This thing right here it sets this visible. It default it's uh, not visible. Okay, and then that gets set to endpoint location later on. This has a little delay 0.2, and then it jumps the character. Uh, the reason for that is um, because enforces usually don't affect the player player very well unless the player is airborne so i actually have the character automatically kind of automatically jump to enable that then it starts playing this montage um and i have it this montage looping because i didn't want to loop it inside the actual montage for my own reasons uh, so it'll loop through here if you're still grappling it'll loop it. it if it gets interrupted it'll end the grappling it'll send it'll send this as another custom event that i'll talk about here in a sec and it'll start mana draining you know mana drain yourself it mana drains for let's see what this one's set at mana drain is set at 0.7 mana drain a second okay yes so it is possible once you get to like, I think level 15 to overcome this mana drain and have infinite gripping. Oh, no, it might be like level 20, the mana drain. Oh wait, nope, nope, that's right. Because once you start mana draining, it stops mana regen, doesn't it? I think, I think you're, yeah, yeah, it does. Once you, the moment you start casting, if you're casting, then it stops mana regen. So that's not possible. No, it'll always you'll always run out of mana. I have that set. I was always kind of debating on that because some games do have that. Some games have it so while you're casting, your mana does not regen. Other games have it so while you're casting, your mana continues to regen. And I kind of went. I just I, I went back and forth on that decision. And have decided to make it so if you're casting, then you're not going to have your mana regen because it can end up with some ridiculous stuff. You end up having infinite mana. Uh, and I don't, I don't, I don't think that's good. Okay, back here, this magic cast. I gotta go back to where is? Oh, here we are. Uh, so as the mana drains, it has an 0, uh, 0 0.5, which means every half a second it'll check if the player has over five mana. If the player does not have over five mana, it'll go true, and then it'll end the grappling. So then let's go ahead and come back over here to show you the actual system. So when the player releases, it'll also end the grappling. And this is the end grappling. Obviously, you stop grappling, you stop casting, you stop your mana your montage, you'll start regenerating mana, and then it'll check to make sure that the whip is still actually there. Sometimes you can have, something can happen and the whip will not be there, and then it'll destroy the whip. So that way the player doesn't run around with the whip in his hands, and it'll also stop your physics this is the one off stop your physics on the legs so your legs don't look funky when you're running <laughs> okay then let's go ahead and talk about the actual grappling hook itself this is where um a uh, little game funky logic goes on you're not actually being pulled towards it at all in fact and in, instead you're actually being pushed towards it by a gravi uh by impulse force add force so what this does is it gets the it, it gets the player actor location, it gets the grappling point location, and then it gets unit direction, which means that it'll point you towards that direction, and then it'll add that together, 
with uh, this down here is what the player is currently doing. Your current your car, car, player current um, vector, and if the player is pushing forward or backwards, so you can swing in midair, left and back, which you know, so you, you like as if you're swinging on a rope, and the force applied there is um, five five times. Uh, 0.5, so it's not 100% of the force applied. So it don't have it one times the force. In fact, this is, this has definitely been converted to a uh, float float precision, and that should be 0.5. I don't know why I didn't do that. Okay. Oh, because maybe I was trying I was trying to figure out if I wanted to make it so the player could swing left and right. I was going to add that in there and ha have it doing that, but I decided no. Let's just keep it backwards and forwards. The player left and right do work because the player has air control, but it's not as much, okay? And here we go, as I was saying, it adds these two poises together, it normalizes them, and then it adds force. Uh, I mean, it tells you how much force to apply. And right here, I have two, uh, is that 235,000, yes, 235,000 force. Uh, you can up this number so it be instantly push you all the way to, to your location like it does in Securo. Uh, and, uh, but I wanted to be more like Indiana Jones, so you're swinging. Ooh, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. So I have that, and I didn't want players just to kind of like jump to the next level. I want them to kind of swing through the levels. This is already a very powerful powerful thing. <laughs> it, it's, it's a game changer, completely. Um, and I already have later on a spell that literally takes you, teleports you. And that's what I'm using for dev, dev mode. And so it adds that force. And right here, this is where it connects the uh, cable on the whip. I already showed you this. I have it set on the end tick. I have it on the tick because when I had it on right here, I would have weird problems with it kind of jumping all over the, the uh, what is it called? Uh, the platform yes and i don't know why it was doing that it's because it's only set it should have just stayed right where it was at but for some reason it would jump it would jump on the platform just all over the place so i have it set on the end tick i said it's not too much co extra cost but in reality i should have it probably set on an actual its own timer with like very minimal so but it's better. It's fine this way. It's not going to big ding. And originally I had it so if the player got within distance, it would automatically stop stop doing it, uh, stop uh, stop stop the whole end grappling. Actually, what's that's exactly what I've done. It's so had the end grappling stopped right there, and, and cast it back. So I don't actually that's sort of never but none of that stuff should be there. Oh yeah, it's also stopped movement and come uh, immediately. But anyway, that is the grappling hook. It is all. It took me. This isn't. This was actually pretty simple to to do it once I got it all figured it out. Like I said, the hardest point for me was the was the um, the animation. <laughs> I'm just not good with the animation things. Uh, and now let's go ahead and uh, go back over here and use it to get to the next level, which I haven't actually done the next level. So. This is pretty much where the end of this dev blog ends. See, she runs up. I'm going to have voices eventually. She's going to be saying, I've had, I've had enough of this or something. I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly. I wrote it down somewhere exactly what I was going to have her say and just give you the, the ability to summon uh, an alternate version of her grappling hook, her whip. Do 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 do. Ah! I should not let go for it that fast. Oops. <laughs> uh, that was dumb on my part. Here, let's try that again. Let's use my dev cheat node that was my bad <laughs> there we go there we go wait until you come back or swing around a little near and then you would jump to the next level which does not exist yet yes <sighs> that's this level finished i do need some beta testers to tell me if that's the list level ends up being a little bit too hard I think it may end up need to be some uh, changing because it, it's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> but that, that's the whole object of this game is to make it pretty hard. Anyway, that's the end of this dev blog. I hope you have enjoyed. Lord Mad Dog, signing off.